What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So we're gonna check out why do WWE wrestlers wipe their feet? Wrestling traditions that are still practiced today. Uh, I'm gonna check this video out because it, it interests me just off the title alone. Because uh, I never understood why wrestlers wipe their feet before they get into the ring. But it, it, it obviously some type of wrestling tradition, which I think is is cool that wrestling still has some of the old school traditions happening in today's wrestling. I think that is cool, and I want to see what other tidbits and interesting facts of like old school wrestling uh, wrestling traditions that are still performed today appreciate all the love and support on the channel y'all man we are almost at 90k you guys have been running up like crazy with the views likes and subscriptions thank you guys so much let's get right into this one this should be a good one Wrestling is so much more than just a job. For wrestlers who made it to WWE, it's a lifestyle. That's mm -hmm. one of the reasons why there are a lot of traditions, unwritten rules, and etiquette that wrestlers must follow when they get to WWE. Some of them you see on TV, while others are hidden backstage. One tradition you may notice when watching WWE is wrestlers wiping their feet on the edge of the ring. There are a few reasons why they do this. One is simply to help keep the ring clean. Garbage and other ways can attach themselves to a wrestler's boots, mm. so to prevent it from being brought into the ring, wrestlers wipe off. Additionally, it's a sign of respect. Respect for the ring where many wrestlers have given their blood, sweat, tears, and lives, and where many more will in the mm. future. Wrestlers also wipe their feet as a sign of respect to their colleagues who are performing later in the show by keeping the ring clean for them. This next Wow, I didn't know that. That that's cool. That's a sign of respect. So next time I'm gonna try to look out for that. Uh probably uh Monday Night Raw, see if they do that on Monday Night Raw uh this upcoming Monday. Uh but yeah, that's cool. I did not know that. This tradition is hidden from fans and you might not even know it exists. The tradition is cleaning up the locker room. When a new WWE wrestler joins the main roster, it's tradition for them to stay until after the show and clean up the locker room. Additionally, newer talent usually helps out the veteran talent by making sure the veterans have water available, towels, and other things. Mm. Newer wrestlers will continue to do this until a veteran tells them they don't have to. While this practice isn't done as much today, wrestlers like Aleister Black and Rusev both said they'd make sure to clean the locker room when they started wrestling on the main roster. In fact, for Aleister Black, Roman Reigns was the person who told them he didn't have to clean up after the shows. Once that happened, it meant that Black had been accepted by the other WWE wrestlers and was part of the team. That's, that's I guess you could say it's like a form of hazing a little bit or like bringing in a new guy. Any like organization, especially like if you're in college, you went to college, you know, like if you're trying to join an organization, usually the new person has to do like the clean up work, make sure everybody is good. And once you've been there for a while, gain your like your reps, gain like your reputation or whatnot, people be like, all right, you ain't gotta do that no more. The new new guy has to do that. You're you're one of us now. That's kind of just what it is. It's like wrestling is a fraternity. Fraternity and sorority, so it makes sense. One other tradition that mostly newer WWE wrestlers need to follow is respecting veterans and main event talent. There are a lot of big wrestlers on the WWE roster, and sometimes the locker room gets pretty cramped. Mm -hmm. However, no matter how little room there is, everyone is expected to make space for veteran wrestlers and top talent like the world champions. Even if you've been in WWE for a while, if you're not a legend or a main event star, you're expected to give up space. If you don't, or if you do something that makes someone angry, you can get in trouble. The Miz infamously got kicked out of the locker room when he was a newcomer to WWE. He was yep. eating some chicken and accidentally spilled some of it onto Chris Benoit's bags. Benoit had the Miz banned from the locker room and the A-lister had to use the public bathrooms where the fans were. Finally, after the Miz had a match against The Undertaker, the dead man allowed Miz back into the locker room. Similar to staying. Yep, uh, that's that's been documented and uh, he felt some type of way about that. He felt slighted about that for a while. And taking care of the locker room, another tradition is that no one leaves until the show is over. Yep. even if you already had your match. The reasons for this are one, to show respect to your fellow wrestlers, and two, to watch the other matches and absorb as much knowledge as possible. This tradition isn't practiced by everyone, but according to Kevin Owens, when John Cena was around, Cena would make sure to watch every match in the show so he could see what the crowd was reacting to. Another tradition you'll see on TV- Which is pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Like, once the matches, some people is different. I think probably Brock is one of the few people, like, he probably after his match. Well, usually his matches are the last match <laughs> of the show. So, you know, but say his match was kind of early, you know what I'm saying? Or he had a quick night. He'll usually leave right after that. He, right, I'm out. So I'm sure there's some exceptions for certain wrestlers. They do their job and they're pretty much out of there. 
from time to time is Damn. a receipt. <laughs> a receipt means getting back at someone. Yep. During a match, a wrestler might get careless and accidentally uh -huh. punch or hit their opponent for real. If that happens, the wrestler that got hurt might issue a receipt. Usually it comes in the form of intentionally punching, kicking, yep. or doing something to get even with your opponent. Now, a wrestler giving a receipt typically won't try to seriously injure anyone. It's just meant to be a little payback. Mm -hmm. Chris Jericho once got punched by Shane McMahon during a match, so Jericho gave Shane a receipt by kicking him in the face. Yep. Sometimes a a wrestler will give a receipt. We've on someone seen that video behalf. on here. At on one the night channel. stand. We've seen uh, wrestlers giving receipts. I think it was by Tap Out Corner, if I'm not mistaken. 2005, JBL infamously started attacking Blue Meanie for real and actually made him bleed. About a month later, the Blue Meanie and JBL were having a match. Stevie Richards interfered and gave JBL an extra hard chair shot Ooh. to the head as a receipt. This unwritten rule kind of makes sense, but also doesn't. WWE wrestlers aren't supposed to talk about their matches. Regardless if a wrestler had a good match or a bad one, they aren't supposed to ask anyone how it went. When you've made it to WWE, it's expected that you can gauge matches on your own and don't need advice or validation from others. Mm -hmm. If a wrestler has a match that was bad, they need to accept it and make sure their next match is better. Likewise, if a wrestler had a really good match, he or she should not brag about it. Similarly, when a wrestler wins a championship, it's an unwritten rule that you show it off only when necessary. This is to help prevent egos from getting out of check and to help keep good locker room morale. This is something you okay. probably never thought about, but in WWE, wrestlers are all supposed to speak English, and it's not for the reason you might expect. Sure, WWE shows are all done in English, and that is part of it. However, the real reason wrestlers are all supposed to talk in English is so they can communicate during matches. Yeah. Wrestlers will often talk to their opponents secretly during a match to discuss what moves they're going to perform next. It's incredibly important since a misunderstanding could lead to a bad yeah, match or even worse, uh, someone injury. getting injured. Oh my this gosh. is perhaps the reason why the original Sin Cara would often botch moves yeah. during his matches since he did not speak English. To help avoid this, all WWE wrestlers are told to communicate in English. Not all WWE traditions are serious. And which makes sense, you know, when you're trying to telegraph some spots to your opponent or whatnot, it's best to be able to speak the same language or... Potentially there can be some botches or, you know, injuries that happen. Some of them are fun. WWE wrestlers are on the road a lot and need to stay positive. One way they do this is by pranking each other or ribbing, as it's called. Mm -hmm. When X-Pac was new in WWE, a bunch of wrestlers got him drunk on his 21st birthday Aww. and shaved off his eyebrows while he was passed out. Aww. Unfortunately for X-Pac, WWE was taking promo pics the very next day, Aww. so he ended up having no eyebrows when they took them. Damn. When a lot of these pranks happen backstage, some wrestlers have pranked each other on TV. To see those, watch this video. Wow, that's... <laughs> that's... <laughs> Imagine celebrating your birthday you get passed out drunk and then your colleagues shave your eyebrows and then you got a photo op the next day so you got to take the photos with no eyebrows that's that's cold buddy man but that was the time period back then just you know guys just messing around having a good time so but this was a very interesting video some of this stuff i did not know was a thing man but it's also cool at the same time that wrestlers still keep some type of in-house tradition when it comes to uh newer talent coming into the company and everyone keeping a good positive morale so i think that was this was a pretty informative dope video man shout out to tap out corner i'm gonna go ahead and like this make sure you subscribe to tap out corner the link to the original video will be down below but comment down below let me know which one of these uh traditions did you not know about i legit didn't know why they did wipe their feet or whatnot i didn't know that was just like a show of sign of respect and just to keep the ring clean did not know that but that was a pretty interesting uh fact so but i appreciate all the love and support road to 90k appreciate y'all keep giving me see you on next one